I guys, now get to the hot side thing. We got cut off with Kahi, so I'm so sorry, guys. I'm gonna try and bring him back, but in any case, I think um, yeah, we've been talking for long. I don't know what's happening. Kahi, so hello. Hmm. Guys, um, I lost Kahiso along the way. I don't know what happened, but yeah. Um, that was our conversation. Uh, let me approve. I am approving him. Um, yeah, he's coming on. Yeah, Kahiso. Much better, much better. Thank you for coming back. Look, um, um, I don't know what happened, but what I was saying... I think we were wrapping up, ne? Yeah. And there's are there any other question before I give my closing statement? Let, let, let me give uh, the last question before you close up. So okay. The last question states as follows: to say that uh, there's a problem of men being mentally absent but physically present in a boy's child or a girl's child, rather. So how can we just say? we become a solution to this to say that women and men become actively involved because being present is not enough you know there are certain ways where parents can just be there male fathers can be there in a present way but they mentally they cannot just be involved a lot you know cannot just vent out to a father as a boy to say here are my issues but then they are physically there but then mentally they just absent how can we just come with a remedy to this um i think we need to go back to healing the inner child yeah. we need to go back to healing childhood traumas the reason why these men are acting how they do is because it's a cry for help remember in life coaching we're saying this um I'm finding this weird. It's a presupposition. Ne? Um, how do I put it? I want the exact word, but um, I'm just going to put it how I understand it. Ne? Yeah. yeah. Uh, for every action, what does it say? The, the presupposition? Uh, it fulfills a purpose for the person doing it. Ne? Yeah. So, I am doing what I am doing as because there's a need for it. Yeah, yeah. So for men to to be absent, it's because it's a cry for help. It's because mm -hmm. they it has happened to them, they don't know how to break the chain. So um yeah. just to go back yeah. and say um, um, I tried to, uh, uh, um, it's here on top of my head, the presupposition, but I cannot uh, find it. So we're going to just move uh, from that. Um, yeah. And I hate him. Yes, mm. for every behavior, there's a positive intention for the person doing it. Perfect. Thank you so much, Amazing. Coach Mike Coach Mahali. <laughs> so. Amazing. In order to fix what's happening to men, we don't need to look at the effect, we need to look at the cause. What sure, causes sure. them to go astray? What causes them to react how they do at this present time? What happened to them that triggered who they are today? Sure, sure, sure. Amazing. So all I can say is that men need healing. They need to heal the inner child. Yes, this thing goes back. It's 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 it goes back to our forefathers and and and. The unfortunate part is that we cannot go back and say let's go and away our and deal with their emotions. They are not there. Yeah. Now, what do we do? We deal with the men that are here, but those men need to be willing. Remember, you can never assist somebody who doesn't want to help. Men need to say, 
you need to yeah. realize that you know what fuck we're living life a senior now we are not happy beings we are controlled by external factors men are controlled by external factors because yeah. it is dark in the inside they're looking for answers mm -hmm. on the outside because it is dark in the inside but once mm -hmm. they start dealing with the inner child in them and heal the inner child you're gonna have a beautiful beautiful society we're going to coexist we're going to be a loving nation we're going to mm -hmm. have equal rights everything jay is going to go you know harmoniously you're feeling this i'm feeling it too <laughs> i'm feeling this no i'm very passionate about this hey so I'm i heard you saying last question i'm seeing that vision no you are just compliments eh? uh, they, they're just complimenting everything it's just so amazing mm. i'm loving it I am, I am loving it. And guys, I'm going to say it again. Men, yeah. I've got a platform for you. It is not my platform. It is platform Yaluna Liliban. Every Wednesday, 8 p.m., you log on to Zoom. When you come to Zoom, that is a space where you leave your mask on the door. That is a space where you take off your clothes to camouflage your pain. There is a space where men are saying, uh, mm. I've been raped. Last week we had a man that say, that was saying, and those who were there can vouch for me and even write here. A man opened up and said, I was raped at an early age. And on top mm. of that, he was also sodomized. And the worst part is that these people, these two people that did this to him, get a brother and a sister. A brother and sister back on next door. Ne omong nata are nruban. Omong ata are irugu ruban. You understand? A man was raping him, kama marahu, musadi nata are wena na melan. But not at the same time. So this poor guy grew up. At one time, I said these people, but not at the same time. And as a result, that turned him to be a, human, a, a humanizer. That turned him to be addicted to sex. That turned him to not be, I want commitment in a relationship. But now we're calling him a dog, we're calling him a trash. Do we look at what happened to him at an early age, which is a cause? We're only looking at the effects. We go around calling men trash. Men are not trash, but men are treasure. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. If we it. call it men trash, hurra hurra. If we're going to say men are trash, ndata hemotuare men is trash. Get trash. Banaba hai baba shiman, give it trash. Brother Sarah, give it trash. I will never call a man a trash because I'm raising boy children and my kids are not trash. Mm. My kids are treasure. Mm. And every male person that I know is a treasure that is head, that is bleeding in the inside, that only needs a platform to say, Here comes. Come here and heal. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. And just to, I, I don't know if I should take the last question or you just want to give us some takeaway. Uh, which one is more best for you? Um, I think takeaway, because already we've spoken. What time is it? I can't see my time on. Past. When Facebook is on, what time it's is it? 20 past 10. Yeah. 20 past 10. Yeah, yeah. no. Nah. We've been online for the longest time. Um, I think, yeah, um, but what I can say to men, because I know there's men looking at me right now, and I know there's men that are going to look at a replay of this. Yeah. I would like to say, I am sorry. 
I am going to stand on the space and fill in a gap of a woman. I am going to be a mouthpiece of women that believe in, in men. I am going to say we are sorry for the pain we have suffered for so many years without you having a voice to voice out your concerns. I am sorry for that day when a woman called you a trash. I am sorry for that day when a woman said you are stupid. I am so sorry for that day when you came back home and found your, your father beating your mother. And as a result, it became a norm to you. I apologize. I stand in the gap for everything that had happened to you at an early age because this is the time for you to heal. For you to find healing, somebody needs to come and say sorry. The people that hurt you might never say sorry, but on their behalf, I am sorry. You are beautiful. You are amazing. You are treasure. You are a king. Bona, you are a leader. Yeah. I am saying to you, men yeah. arise. It's time for you to take your position and lead. But you can never lead from a place of pain. You need to admit that you are happy and heal so that you can lead from a place of abundance. Abundance and, and pain, they do not stay at the same place. You need to take a, 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 a you need to take a personal decision as a man to say, "Am I going to live in this plane forever in my life, or I want to be happy?" The choice is yours, and when you have made that choice, you're going to get yeah. rid of that door of pain and start living in abundance of happiness. We are here mm. as women women that stand with me in this movement. There's women that are willing to support men to say, guys, it's about time you heal. Mm. I am not scared to tell you what to do and tell you how treasure you are and, and you've had that for the longest time. Mm. I'm going to tell you, maybe somebody doesn't tell you I love yeah, you. Yeah. I love you yeah. and I love you. This love is mm. genuine. This love is from a place of love. Problem is you cannot be loved by somebody who doesn't love themselves. Yeah. Love comes from detailed. a place of abundance. If your cup is full with love, then you will love another person. With that being mm. said, same applies to you men. Because you do not love yourselves, you attract mm. people who don't love you. This is a law of attraction. I'm going to have a class about law of attraction. You Please. attract who you are. You attract what you constantly think of. You attract what you believe in. You attract what you visualize. But because of you, a lag inside you. Mm. You can never attract a good person. How do you attract what you not? Even when that person comes, mm -hmm. they cannot love you the right way because you do, you do not know how to love. But this is a subject for true, another true, day. True. I'm going to have classes for men. Look, this is the subject close to my heart and I am going to dedicate my life on this. Yeah. No, man, it's going to be a fruitful year. I'm loving it already. <laughs> Tell it to me it's just yeah. a rock. Guys, let's sleep. But hey, remember you are loved. Remember you are beautiful. Remember you are treasure. Sleep well, sleep well, sleep well. I'm tired. I'm going to sleep now. I just love you guys. The powerful Laura. Laura's packed. It was a, an intensive and heated session. I love every bit of it. So yes, thanks for blessing us. Thanks for blessing us. And yes, we'll just keep be in the loop with regards to future plans on that. All right. Thanks. <laughs>